Life is a hard riddle. Your producer is me one and only Jack Zod. In life you need to use brain so much and a little bit strength. Because Gar Keller once said, life itself is like a riddle. The way you outlive it, it's the answer. Now let's move in these 10 strong riddles of life and the way we use more strength instead of more brain. Now here we dig in. Riddle number one, in relationships and marriage, we let go of those who deserve to be tolerated and to relate to those who deserve to be let go. Its results is unexpected death, daily trepidations, marriage in conflict and relations with no taste. A beautiful lady like you, you look unpleasing, you have no teeth, getting boxed with a husband anytime, those are the reasons. A bleeding heart, the light in your face is gone. You don't dress cool like previous, then you are told marriage is about tolerance and you decide to tolerate which can't be tolerated. If marriage is a gift from God, how will you start tolerating a gift? This is a hard riddle. When you miss tolerance in marriage, marriage breaks down. When you tolerate much in marriage, it will splinter you. Marriage is God's plan. Cooperate with God, pray to God by meaning it, and not by hypocrisy. Second riddle. During revival and dying, they die those who deserve to live and leave those who deserve to die, like thieves, criminals, youths, and hooligans who make life look miserable in the world, and they live long life to prosperity. Why? Imagine you have sacrificed for yourself saving money till you purchased a smartphone so as to chat and post nonsense in social media. You wake up in the morning and thief snubs you. How will you feel there? You torture your wife and kids till the kids ask their mother, when will father pass out? A mother like you decide to cooperate with hooligans to kill your husband. Hooligans run from you. Life has dwell on you. Children suffer missing a father who served family and killed him for your silly temptations. Why don't you die? But when you die, what will you leave here? What is your destiny? This is another hard riddle even the wise failed to solve it. When it is said, good things don't last, they last only evils. What is evilness? Third riddle, in careers and government servants, they are promoted those who deserve to be demoted and they are demoted those who deserve to be promoted. When you do a research for this, people will tell it's jealousy. When you try to leave it for God, you face another obstacle. Eat the good of life. And how will you eat the good of life when since you started your career you have been receiving new buses and saying goodbye to the old buses? Why this? Why don't you also be a boss of a company? Because all qualities of bus you have. You are educated. If it's your career you work out till you forget your own family and a true clean servant of God. Where have you stumbled? This is another riddle. If you stumble in a wrong place, you may end rebelling God and becoming a careless person at work. Because imagine there are people who are employed to steal and they really steal. They became rich through stealing. But in the list of people who are supposed to be sucked at work, they don't exist. Some are latecomers. Skills at work is zero. They use their position to sexually harass people. The witnesses you have and their news you have. But during the sworn, they exist. But those who are loyal, honest, with fear of God till the public work, they are the ones who get sucked, and some ever since they started their job till retirement, they are still in their same positions. This is the devil. When you ask them, they say, we we'll leave it all to God. Limao. You don't get promoted, you have never gone to vacation, you never transfer to another workstation. Go back to God with strong arguments. It has been written. Present your case, submit your arguments. Fourth riddle, in feeding and keeping, we feed those who deserve to feed for themselves and we leave those who deserve to be fed, because it has been written, for unto everyone that hath shall be given, and he shall have abundance, but from him that hath not shall be taken away even that which he hath. You take a loan from bank, you open your grocery in the morning and you find all the things that you brought for your business are stolen by the security who was guarding there and end up blaming God for what happened to your properties and escaping from the bank. Don't you see this is another riddle? Fifth riddle. At school and during examinations, they pass those who deserve to fail and fail those who deserve to pass. You may find and asking yourself, even Chris has passed? Even Jacob has failed, together with spending the whole night like an old revising. 
exams is another thing forget about it because when you keep thinking about exams you may end up seeing yourself abusing teachers accusing that they bribe marks when the wise said failing exams is not failing life why there are some who failed both that's why you have to put in mind that life is a hard riddle when you keep falling up too much with it you get stumbled with your, even your own waste sixth riddle in marriage and parenting they carry pregnancy those who deserve to be denied parental and also fed parenting who deserve to give birth there is someone while we are talking here is taking action to about pregnancy and the other one is blaming us of getting pregnancy carelessly this is like setting a match this is a match this one blaming herself for pregnancy the other one who is looking to get pregnant has visited all hospitals to get transplanted this marriage is soon breaking and it's the seventh year now there is no baby this blames goes directly to the wife while the problem which is the husband himself you see a mother is taking care of a baby for nine months taking care of the pregnancy not to get spoiled while at bed rest a mother gives birth and the child is already dead and we say it's the work of god then why those who need a baby should not get parenting and not those who mess with it and say everything will leave to god remember we have to spray spend praying and not blaming seventh riddle in wealth and poverty they get rich those who deserve to die poor and they die poor those who deserve to be rich visit the farms the way people die of hunger digging with holes and tractors with hands go to the market the way people die for carrying luggages as if there are some half good wages go to the offices the way workers mop the whole office areas till toilets with hands go to prostitution the way people die with aids for selling themselves to get money go to the cemeteries the way poor dig the ground for the rich to get buried yes this is no lie in these issues of wealth and poverty to man of god apostle joseph artis says inspect your fellow's wallet if it has no money tell him stupid be born again and have brain to use them seeking money if you have no money you have no brain if you have no money you are stupid money does not stay to a stupid fella because when money goes to a fool it is all gone the one with good mindset makes it circulate stop stupidity accept jesus christ to be a savior for life to have a good mindset and get money your mind will send you to generate income joseph Art is reminding us to those smart workers the other wise people said the one who gave you denied me for sure life is a riddle evaluate yourself as much as you can you may die of pressure eighth riddle in marriage they get married those who deserve not to get married and those who aren't married don't deserve that's because life has no manners there's someone messing with marriage till you start thinking what is his problem you got a good wife who even pays fees for your children plus pocket money but the way you torture her as if she's an agent of satan also the way you are an unsound mind person you bribe even the money your wife offers you therefore you decide to hang out on the streets like a whore while you are someone's spouse do you think you deserve to be married now listen a woman with whole behaviors is a luggage to her husband and a man's behavior just like offsets is a problem to his wife that is the real meaning of riddles ninth riddle in praise and glorifying they are getting praised those who deserve to be punished and get punished those who deserve to be praised they are loved those who deserve to be hated and hated those who deserve to be loved you may say it's luck because they are building for themselves while people with their own luck the first and the last riddle is about politics and readership they get elected those who don't deserve to rule the ones who deserve don't get elected there are some leaders who deceive people with their speeches using botched facts to win when it comes to action it's chaos you have to know leadership is generosity this life dame i remember someone was telling me that when life beats you down ignore it and i told him you don't have brain you mean i have to die you are no brainer living life don't you see it's the same as death anyways purchase the car for dreams at before our website by pressing the link below at an affordable price join also fbs trading broker and start making money with minimum deposit of one dollar cent account
$5.46 micro account, $100 standard account, and lastly $400 for ECN account. All love. To God be the glory.